Good evening, class. My name is David Dupatty, and I'll be talking to you about the leadership quality vision. Uh, what do all five of these people uh, that I have placed on these screen have in common? Uh, they all had a vision. Uh, you know, they all were very successful leaders uh, in their respective fields, um, and they all had, you know, uh, uh, you know, a, a vision to get, you know, exactly what they wanted accomplished. Uh, you know, we have Gandhi, Michael Jordan, Bill Gates, Martin Luther King Jr., Oprah. You know, all of these people had a vision um, and an action set into plan um, to ultimately get to where they, you know, where they wanted to go uh, in the future. Uh, next, you know, uh, just just why I jumped on this uh, on this leadership quality is, uh, you know, vision is something that I hold, you know, extremely close to me. Um, you know, I, I, I definitely feel that you have to you have to see, you know, where you want to be in the future in order to put it into action. Um, you know, for, for me, um, you know, I, I, I wanted to graduate high school. Uh, you know, I, I played football all throughout high school and, you know, ultimately I wanted to play college ball. So, you know, even before that happened, you know, even in high school, you know, prior to getting those letters, you know, I, I wanted to see that into action. Um, and then from there, you know, in college, you know, my freshman, sophomore year, I knew that, you know, as a goal, you know, I wanted to graduate. Um, and, you know, that, that was a vision. You know, that's one of the visions that I had, you know, to ultimately, you know, get to that point. Um, and then the next, you know, I'm, you know, from uh, from Eric Thomas, he's a motivational preacher, uh, they call him. And this is just some things that I've heard from him um, and I'll share it with you all. You know, everything starts with a vision. Um, you have to have a road map and goals uh, to ultimately get, you know, to where you want to be. You know, don't worry about what it looks like now. You know, you, you write down these goals and, you know, they might seem out of reach at, you know, at the time that you write them down. But, you know, don't don't focus on what it looks like now, because initially everything's going to look crazy. You know, everything's going to look, you know, out of whack and, and, you know, not attainable. But if you if you keep yourself in that comfort zone to what you can attain and what you can reach, then you'll never grow. Um, he also explained, uh, you know, envision your future daily. You know, he, he said, he, he, you know, bef you know, when he woke up in the morning, he looked at his future. And when he went to bed, he looked at his future. And, and the more you constantly, you know, look at where you want to be, you know, the more that vision will turn into reality. I know that's, that's a common saying that we hear all the time. Um, and then also, you know, dream killers will come. And by what I mean by dream killers are, are those people that say, oh, he's not big enough. He's not smart enough. He's not fast enough. You know, those people that that, you know, may not have dreams for themselves or keep themselves in their comfort zone. You know, they, they don't want you to reach your ultimate ability. So so they're constantly downing you. So just ignore that. Ignore those those people that, that say all that stuff to you and, you know, all that, you know, just just ignore that. So, you know, next slide, I'll leave off with you guys. Um a quote by Joel A. Barker, um, vision without action is merely a dream. So just to see something and, and have a vision, but not to actually put it into place, it's only a dream. Um, action, you know, if, if you do something, but you don't have a vision of where you want to go, action without vision, it just passes the time. But the last part, vision with action, it can change the world. So thanks, you guys. Um, I appreciate everything. Um, I just wanted to share some of the stuff you know, that I've heard from Eric Thomas and over the years with myself, um, you know, just about vision and, and uh, I appreciate it.